right, Cast Iron fans, we're here now. We're camp cooking again, and we got a uh, special treat because Scotty, Camp Chef Scotty, is going to make a souffle. And we're gonna Hi, cook, everybody. We're, where are we going to cook it in? Uh, we're going to cook an egg souffle in a Dutch oven. Oh, this is going to be good. we got to prepare it tonight. So Scotty's going to show you how to prepare it. It's got to sit overnight to set up. So get to it, man. All right, we're going to start out. I've got uh, 10 eggs here in a bowl. I'm going to get those stirred up here. And I'm going to add uh, about a half a cup or so of milk. That's whole milk, right? Yeah, whole milk. It, and if you want to use uh, 2%, you can, that's fine. And then I've got uh, a couple tablespoons of sour cream. We'll give that a stir. That stuff good. And then here I've got uh, about one and a half teaspoons of mustard powder, uh, about a teaspoon of salt, and about a teaspoon of black pepper. Dump that in. Mix it up a little more. Okay. Then we take a pound of pork breakfast sausage. This is the regular. You can use spicy if you want it a little hotter. And I uh, brown that, crumble it up good, dump that in. We did a lot of cooking before we came camping. It's, it's better to do all your prep cooking before you go camping. Kind of mix that up a bit. Whoop. We've got about a cup of... Uh, Cheddar Monterey Jack, I believe, cheese. Uh, yeah, Monterey Jack. Okay. Dump that in. Give a little more stir. And finally, I've got about uh, 10 slices of bread here that I've chopped and cubed up. Let it sit out in the air a little bit, dry out a little bit. I don't know if I'll need it all, but I wanted to make sure I had enough. You want to put some of that in there. Stir it up. I think we can put the rest in. And, uh, we're going to cook this tomorrow morning, but you want to get this mixed up and uh, let it sit overnight in the cooler or the refrigerator if you make it at home. And uh, let everything kind of melt together. The uh, bread soaks up all of your egg mix. Yeah, this is looking really good. Okay, so you've got a consistency about like this, and we'll put a cover on it and let it sit overnight, and in the morning we'll bake it in a Dutch oven. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, good morning everybody. Uh, our egg casserole is rested overnight in the cooler. Everything's soaked together nicely. First thing we'll do is take some butter. I've warmed this Dutch oven just a little bit, and we're going to coat the insides with some butter just to kind of help it from sticking. Don't need a whole lot. Now we'll just take our mix and drop it in there. Get all that extra cheese and stuff out of there. And just kind of evenly spread this around. And we'll throw our lid on, 
and we're going to put this on uh, the fireplace over here with a few coals on the lid. Should take about a half an hour to cook it. We'll put about 10 or 12 coals on the lid. These are getting kind of burnt down, so I'll put a few more. Okay, we'll go with that for now. Uh, check it every few minutes. If it looks like you're getting a hot spot in there, you can just turn the lid or move some coals around away from that spot. We'll come back in about 10 minutes and check it out. Okay, our uh, egg souffle is finished. Let's get a good close look here. Got a nice little golden brown. Kind of nice and fluffed up. I wanted to show it to you at this point because I'm going to try and take it out of here and I didn't want to tear it up and ruin it for the video. So. Okay, here's the finished product. We pulled it out of the Dutch oven. Uh, it came out pretty easy. Didn't really leave a whole lot behind, so it uh, worked pretty well. Turned out just awesome. Thanks for watching, folks. Looks freaking yummy, too. There's my bacon, because that's what I'm always cooking, but today we're cooking it on the flat griddle instead of in a pan. Because I wanted to try out this flat guy before uh, I left. It's got a grill on the other side of it too, but I didn't use that. But the, the coals with the hibachi, this is an awesome cooking combo. This is actually way better than um, using a, a propane Coleman stove or whatever, because we thought we had forgotten ours, but we found it later. But it was a happy accident, really, because we've cooked on this just like you would cook on a regular cooktop, and it cooks just as well and just as evenly.